Hey everyone! Guess what? I just got a new computer. And seeing how Assassin's Creed 3 was one of those computer, one of those games rather, my old computer just couldn't handle playing and recording at the same time. I figured this would be a good one to start with. Interestingly enough, Uplay saves your games on the cloud, so... Save game transferred over, that was pretty cool. But I'm gonna start a new game for you guys. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple one of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. We're here. Let's go. Well, thanks, game. Now I don't have to do my own recap of the Assassin's Creed story. I don't think it's going to let me run yet. At least I got a glow stick.
Excuse me. Another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Everything one at a time. It's a really nice hipster backpack there, doesn't it? We're here. She doesn't hear anything you're saying. Pick it up. Not the glow stick. triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. Yes, that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Boy. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Good 
totally do that. What in the world? Free run your way through this little obstacle course. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. I think I blew that chance. All you have to do here is jump the gap. What in the world? That's not what you're supposed to do, Desmond. I think I could make that. Don't. <laughs> Should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Make way, world. Coming through. Uh, sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. I know you guys probably don't notice a difference, but... I've got a big screen now and this looks really nice. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? What is an email? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. A little farm by the Salisbury Plains. Holds anywhere when the wind blows, but the land is good. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Bright. Evening, Haytham. Original. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. You see him? Eagle vision.
be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Indeed, he looks very killable. So, Black Mall at Sick Word of Trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring your Excuse me. Some pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Get, sit down. Tom Cates is found guilty. Oh, lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not bend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may venture to book More time mm -hmm. gag. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. I'd like to get more of my estate in. You don't see anything. And in truth, it's a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may be the common force of business. Leave her 12 months older. I love to let women escape. A good sportsman always gets to see it. Oh, it's not just a green game of baseball. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women. Except our wives. Without a spirit, she is a fine woman. Because you are always obliged to fly to the education. And to say... Over the railing. Here we go. Move the mouse left and right. a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, it is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends in the Made it. Good sport. Fast walk, fast walk. <laughs> all the commotion around here. It happened right at that balcony. What are those 
He looks guilty. Whoever he is. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. If this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first? They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, we'll want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. To America. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. I think it's possible not to get full synchronization on that one. Save this for next time. 